Excuse me, I'm Hi guys. Well, it is another hot summer day in early April here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is now Tuesday, April 4th, 2023, and uh, I have to go meet my uh, Mexican mechanic, my gas sucking truck, to get uh, some new rear brakes on my truck before heading back to New York, baby. So I uh, don't really have any major. Uh, Chronicle of the Collapse uh, set on my computer today. I just, uh, let, let's just go through off the top of my head what uh, the limited time I got to spend on, uh, on the mainstream media today. So, of course, when, when I first turned on my computer and called up my email, I have an email, a special bulletin email from Yahoo News about some breaking news down at the bottom of my computer. I have a thing about breaking news. Then I said, okay, what is all this big excitement about the breaking news? I thought that maybe uh, we had uh, reached two degrees C of warming or whatever and uh, so first of course across the top of the Yahoo news page is a bright red banner going across talking about the breaking news underneath that you know their big number one story on planet earth underneath the bright red banner talking about the developing story of course uh, you know the single biggest distraction we have seen you know now that corona panic uh, is no longer uh, working so we now have the single biggest distraction on the planet uh, about some fat ass billionaire uh, cheating on his wife with a hooker, paying off a hooker to keep her mouth shut that he was running around with some hooker behind his wife's back. It, it, it is completely dominated the entire planet. And, and, and I'm talking every... Uh, I, I, I'm talking the mainstream media, I'm talking the right-wing media, the left-wing media, the alternative media, uh, some story about some fat-ass billionaire paying off a hooker to keep her mouth shut. Uh, it, it's... And, and, You, you, you just wonder why we are doomed. You just wonder why we are doomed. I, I mean, why the hell am I down here every day, uh, down here in the echo chamber of the doomosphere? Uh, I can only imagine what uh, the TV news sounds like today. And uh, take a wild guess who is completely uh, taking advantage of this distraction. Well, it's the people who don't want, the little cockroaches who don't want the light shining on them. Uh, so the cockroaches uh, can just have a field day out there while the world's attention is, to, is focused on a story, I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it, it, I mean, it doesn't even belong anywhere on any news outlet on the planet. It is a story that has nothing to do with anything going on on this planet. 
Nothing. Nothing. Uh, uh, from, from any angle you look at this. Uh, and then, of course, so I go to the number two biggest story on the planet today, which, of course, is the Marburg virus outbreak in Sub-Saharan Africa. The number two biggest story, you know, since uh, Joe Biden has declared that Corona panic is going to end on May 11th. On May 11th, uh, Corona panic will officially be a thing of the past. So they're, uh, you know, working on what, what they're going to come up with this time. And here's the World Health Organization, uh, the number two biggest story on the planet, talking about the Marburg virus, how we need to be out there developing a vaccine uh, for the goddamn Marburg virus. Uh, Lord, I, I, I mean, what is the point of, uh, of, of just, <laughs> you know, being down here in the hemisphere? So then I'm, so I'm scrolling through, and then we have a story, I guess, uh, and, and I've always suspected this. I've always just had a hunch that, I guess, the week after uh, Joe Biden sells off 73 million acres of the Gulf of Mexico to big oil. Uh, they have this new study out, you know, talking about how offshore oil actually creates a hell of a lot more uh, greenhouse gas emissions than drilling for oil on land, and it's all because of the methane emissions, that you can't burn it off, you can't flare off the methane in all of these underground oil wells. You can't, you know, it, it, you can't capture it, you can't flare it off, so when you add in the methane uh, for every barrel of oil, the coming out of uh, the Gulf of Mexico is a hell of a lot more greenhouse gas emissions uh, than uh, you know than, than onshore, which makes uh, Joe Biden an e that much of a bigger hypocritical lying sack of shit corporate whore. Uh, completely uh, in the pockets of, of the oil and gas community. Eight comments. So, you know, you've got, what, what was it, 17,000 comments uh, about some home wrecker uh, paying off some whore to keep her mouth shut. Uh, we got like what 17,000 comments, and then I go to this. Uh, there are eight comments on the entire planet of eight billion people, eight people commenting uh, about that story about the increase. I guess I, I look at the first comment saying something like, There are dozens. There are dozens of studies showing just the opposite. Dozens of stud studies. That makes a minimum of 24, uh, I guess, peer-reviewed scientific studies showing that offshore oil actually produces less greenhouse gas emissions, that this, uh, th 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 this clueless moron uh, troll coming on there who knows absolutely nothing, just making up, uh, out, uh, just, just, just completely making up out of whole cloth that there are dozens of studies showing uh, the complete opposite. It, you know, it made me uh, think about there was this um, story in medium.com 
mostly about Tucker Carlson and Fox News, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, I think Sandy might be running with that one. I did not want to insult your intelligence that much. But, but one thing the guy was pointing out, whoever this fellow was, was, was talking about how easy it is just to make any outlandish statement you want to. That anybody can come on the internet and make any sort of unadulterated horseshit statement that has no grounding in fact whatsoever on any level. Pure bullshit. Anybody can come out here now, spew whatever horseshit they want to come in out of their mouths and, and how easy it is for someone to do that and how hard it is if you want to refute when you encounter, when anybody with a brain uh, in the tiniest modicum uh, of uh, discernment and critical thinking wants to refute this unadulterated horseshit that you, 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 that you find everywhere you look, how much harder you would have to work to uh, prove how full of shit uh, the, these people are. Uh, and, and the only people that you're going to quote convince are the people who already agree with you anyway. It makes no difference. Nobody gives a damn uh, a, a, about the truth anymore. And uh, th this uh, Medium article, you know, talking about uh, 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 Fox News and particularly uh, Tucker Carlson, and they, they, they kind of ran up against this, didn't really develop this theme. So I, I, I know that Fox News, I'm 100% sure how Fox News and 99.9% .9 sure how Tucker Carlson is spinning this story about uh, Joe Biden uh, selling off the Gulf of Mexico. So what Fox News, and I'm virtually 100% certain, Tucker Carlson, in reporting this story, what they are talking about, pointing out correctly and, and, and deservedly, that uh, Joe Biden is a hypocritical, lying sack of shit, corporate whore. So they point that out, but obviously what they, what they don't talk about is that what Tucker and, and the rest of those uh, idiots over there don't talk about is that they 100% support Joe Biden. See, I would add the term planet eating to that list of, uh, so uh, you will never hear Fox News or uh, Tucker Carlson calling Joe Biden a planet eater for the simple reason that Fox News and Tucker Carlson are some of the biggest champions of, uh, of you, you know, oil and gas drilling. I guarantee you this study about uh, how, uh, you, you know, uh, this oil and gas drilling in the Gulf of Mexico actually makes a lot more. Well, maybe they will spin it. Joe Biden support, you know, supports a uh, oil and gas drilling that makes more carbon emissions than would be made if we were drilling on our public lands. Uh, if, if, if Donald Trump were president and he had sold off 73 million acres of the Gulf of Mexico uh, to big oil, Tucker Carlson and Fox News would be cheering him on. 
my guess is Tucker Carlson's biggest problem with Joe Biden selling off 73 million acres of the Gulf of Mexico is that he did not sell off 74 million acres. Uh, is the other but but you, you see how they how they spin uh, how they spin the story and, and, and I've got to wonder is Tucker Carlson is he ever gonna be able to sit down there and, and just uh, with a little bit of egg on his face and say uh, I'm sorry I was wrong I don't know if the words I was wrong is in Tucker Carlson's vocabulary. My friend here that I'm staying with, who is Tucker Carlson's biggest fan, uh, she would say that Tucker Carlson is the best journalist in, like, working today. That Tucker Carlson is the pinnacle of good journalism. She claims that Tucker Carlson has uh, admitted that he was wrong about something, although she couldn't remember any specific examples. But when is Tucker Carlson, what is, what is Joe Biden going to have to do to make Tucker Carlson get up there and say, guys, I was wrong claiming that Joe Biden is standing in the way of oil and gas development uh, in the U.S. Uh, is there anybody on this planet, uh, up to and including Tucker Carlson, failing to understand that Joe Biden is an absolute gift to and a stooge of the oil and gas industry? Uh, when will Tucker Carlson say, uh, guys, uh, you know, I, I, was, I, I was a goddamn fool. I actually took Joe Biden at his word when he was running for president about uh, how no more drilling on public lands, period, 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 period. No more drilling. You elect me as president, and there will be no more drilling for fossil fuels, at least on public lands. Uh, and uh, so anyway, I'm scrolling down. I guess the last story I got to was talking about how the Joe Biden administration for March of 2023, the month that just ended. Now, it didn't talk about public versus private lands. Okay, they didn't, the article didn't go into this, talking about how more liquid natural gas, LNG, uh, the United States, we pumped more liquid natural gas in March of 2023 than any month in history <coughs> that Joe Biden, uh, under the Joe Biden administration, more LNG was pumped in the United States than any month in history, more than any month that Donald Trump or, or Daddy Bush or Baby Bush, uh, Joe Biden now has the honor of pumping more LNG in one month than, in any, than any other president in history. And then talking about, well, that sounds like good news for uh, energy independence until you find that virtually 100% of the liquid natural gas was sold on the international market. The vast majority going to Europe, uh, which they attributed, of course, to uh, Putin. So we 
produce more of this stuff than we've ever produced and not one drop of it staying in this country. Uh, how many comments do you think were on that story? If you're on a planet of 8 billion people, if your answer was zero, zero comments on, uh, on that story. And not even, uh, I mean, from, e from neither side. Uh, that's because nobody read the story. This, this term LNG, uh, this term liquid natural gas or LNG, it has the effect, the same effect as the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. If you ever want to uh, completely empty a room in a party, walk in walk up to whoever and say L N G and you will clear the room. Nobody cares about L N G. Uh, they don't know what the hell it is. And that was as far as I made it in the mainstream media today. Oh God. So I was, uh, I had the, 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 this is what doomers think about uh, before they find the energy to get out of bed. I, I was thinking if uh, I put a thousand dollars in this hand and 50 cents in this hand and hit the streets in the great state of Texas, and I started down the street saying, I will give you $1,000 to tell me, without looking at your smartphone, who William Reese is. $1,000 to tell me who William Reese is, or I will give you 50 cents to tell me who Stormy Daniels is that I would easily give away a thousand dollars in 50 cent increments meaning that no no danger that uh, I, I would give 2,000 people the 50 cents to tell me who Stormy Daniels is and my thousand dollars to tell me. I, I, I wonder how many millions of people uh, I would uh, I would interview by it before anyone could tell me anything about who William Reese is, or you know I could say the same uh, you know for Tim Garrett or who, whoever you know. Uh, I, I, I could pick the top 10 uh, Doomer uh, scientists out there. Uh, this, there, there, is, there is no conversation outside of Medium.com and, and here on YouTube, and, and I guess probably somewhere over there on Facebook or whatever, uh, there is, there, there, there just simply is no conversation being had about the, uh, the, the single biggest story on this planet in the history of humanity. Uh, I, I, I see less uh, evidence of it now than I, than I did 10 years ago. Now, I do see uh, a little more evidence, at least on when I flip on my computer, people having the climate change conversation, which is getting me, it's starting to get me the climate change alarmist, of, of, of which I am one, uh, e even though I am a climate change alarmist, the, these climate change alarmist who talk about nothing except the climate, who 
do not know, have never heard the word overshoot, have no idea what it means talking about how climate is going to kill us and the planet without what would be being completely unaware either uninterested and or unaware of the other eight planetary boundaries the, the, the these goddamn climate alarmist uh, they're almost making me as sick uh, as the climate deniers uh, it's like these climate alarmists are almost bigger deniers of the other eight planetary boundaries that will take this planet down with no help from climate change as the climate change deniers. I, I, I was so desperate for uh, for some intelligent programming, I actually listened to a and I and I stayed the entire hour long documentary last night about biblical prophecies for the end times, and at least up until the time they started talking about the rapture and Jesus coming back to save our guilty asses, I, I said this is the most intelligent programming. Uh, most intelligent documentary I've heard in a long time. I mean, the, 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 this isn't rocket science. Uh, Jesus was talking about this 2,000 years ago. But anyway, I have to go meet a Mexican about some breaks while I still can. I will continue talking to myself in the echo chamber of the Doomosphere tomorrow. My guys.